everybody, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. I just received the new Kirby Rosanna's book, Fragile Worlds, and I'm very impressed with it, I must say. So I thought I'd go a quick flip through. I know there's already loads of these up, but I want to tell you what I think and which pictures I'm really excited about and which ones I'm terrified of. So there's the cover. Beautiful. It's raised. Feels really nice quality cover. And then on the back, there's this one. And again, as you can see, he's coloured it all differently. So you can colour the animals the colours they're meant to be, or you can really let your imagination go wild and colour what you how you want to. So let's have a look. So you've got this lovely little turtle, tortoise, turtle, baby turtle. Then you've got your this book belongs to page. And it just uh, the thing, uh, illustrated by Kirby Rosanes, and then of course a bit about written and edited by designed by Discover a Fragile World on this colour in adventure. And there's information at the back, which I'll show you at the end. So, at the back of the book, it does tell you this is a snow leopard, um, which is very interesting because they would be white. So, how would you colour a snow leopard? <laughs> but again, like I said, you use your imagination or you try and make it look as, as real as possible, it's up to you. It tells you all about these animals at the back. So I'm not going to try and name them all because I have no idea. And then we've got uh, this bat. This is a New Zealand bat, if I remember rightly. Look at that beautiful gorilla. Absolutely stunning. So some of them are single-sided and some of them are double. So that we got some penguins here and some froggies. So obviously a single-sided page. And then you've got this double-sided page here. And these are absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous as well. So different and yet so similar from what he's done before in the sense that they're all animals and they're all endangered or critically endangered or nearly endangered. They're all, you know, um, but you've still got the, you know, so you've got the one goat there and there's one on his head and they're on his back and you've got all the grassland as well on it. And here you've got a polar bear with the, the iceberg on it and some polar bears on the top and some, you know, it's similar but not similar and then this one it's just all like they look like chimpanzees I'm not 100% sure what they are until I get to the back but it just looks like a normal picture of um, animals in, a, in their natural habitat without the extras on it and then you get back to this one and it's completely Kirby it's fantastic that's a lovely one and so is that one the bumblebee the bee it, it tells you what kind of bee it is but it's it's stunning i know it's not the best um <clears throat> camera setup for this because it's not high enough you know, this i think that's a great white but yeah just beautiful the fish as always, exquisitely drawn. Look at this. This is adorable, this one. I think this is beautiful. So with something like this, you could look up the animal at the back and then go onto the internet, find a picture of it so you know what it actually looks like coloured in. And you could colour it like that. Or you could make it completely whatever you want. So for instance, a panda, they're black and white. It's pretty much done. So again, you can use your own imagination. Another bat hippo. <clears throat> you know, it's all. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. It's more like um, intricate ink, which I don't do because I'm not keen on animals, but this I wanted because it's Kirby and I knew it was going to be amazing. Um, look at them. I just need a drink. The owls. Beautiful. An elephant. I mean, imagine colouring that one in, oh. either in normal colours or just all multicoloured. Beautiful. I mean, as somebody who likes to colour things in the way they're meant to be, it's going to be very hard to go crazy. I mean, and this is beautiful. That's the one on the back. As you can see. That's a lovely one there birds. I think these are fantastic. And then there's the front one, I think. Yep, front one. Oh, they, they are beautiful. I, I'm glad that they're not all double pages. Like, for instance, this one's a double page, which is fine. And then, and this one is, I mean, there are a lot, but they're not all double pages, which is, is nice for change. So for this one, 
it's not a double page really, I suppose it is, but you don't have to do it as a double page. You could do the orangutan, I think it is, one day, and then you could do the koalas another day, and that's the one I really want to do. I really want to do a koala one. So, and then we've got this one. Little ship up there, little sailing boat. I just think they're gorgeous. I mean, look at it, it's just beautiful. The artwork is stunning. I can actually see me colouring in this before some of the other Kirby books, to be honest. I don't think, although the artwork is beautiful, it doesn't, looking at it now, more in depth, it's not as daunting as some of his detailed pictures from the other books. So I'm, yeah, I probably will colour in this soon. I'm going to do that koala. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. Look at this picture. Look at this one. Look at these. I mean, <coughs> someone has stated that it's a lot more grayscale than normal. And it is, but it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that. I want to do that one as well. And this. I haven't looked through the book all the way. So I've only flipped. Oh, look. This, I think, is going to be a very popular book. As I said, I do want to do one in World Within World soon. And then I think I might even hit this one after that. Because I really want to tackle that koala and the orangutan. <laughs> Beautiful. The art is just stunning. Look at these birds. Look how beautifully they're drawn. Oh. You just think, oh, this is wonderful. Like I said, you could just Google the pictures, the, the animals, because they list all the animals in the back and find a picture and you could colour it the way you want, the way it would be in real life. Or you could just colour it completely fantastical. Or get two books and do one fantastical and one normal. I might even do that. And I never buy two of one book because I don't think of... Um, I want to colour them twice, but I know I'm going to want to colour them normally. But part of me also wants to let my imagination go mad and colour them fantastical as well. So as you can see, there's the penguins there. I love penguins. Who doesn't love penguins? You've got a list of all the animals. So snow leopards, New Zealand's lesser short-tailed bats, mountain gorillas, saiga antelopes, polar bears, chimpanzees, American bison, Queen Alexander's birdwing butterflies, a rusty thatched bumblebee, southern rockhopper penguins, lima leaf frogs, oh, I love those ones, ring-tailed lemurs, great white shark, mandrills, Philippine eagles, hump head wrasses, black-footed ferrets, giant pandas, common hippopotamuses, Philippine naked back backed fruit bats, jaguars, whooping cranes, Asian elephants, forest owlets, gharials, Galapagos sea lions, Sumatran tigers, black rhinoceros, thick-billed parrots, hawksbill turtles, whale sharks, Ethiopian wolves, axolotl axolotls, I can't pronounce that, um, orangutans, koalas, blue whales, aimer leopards, red pandas, again beautiful animals, and so on and so on. So you get a good list of all the animals, so you could actually colour them the way they're supposed to be coloured, all the way down to the Galapagos penguins. So that is a very quick flip through of Fragile World, which I think is absolutely stunning. And I, I can't wait to colour in it in a way. I really, I'm itching to actually start, but I've got to finish my other Kirby first. So. And I did say I'd do one within world within worlds before I started anything else by him. Because I don't think that's as complicated as some of his earlier stuff. But I don't know, the koala and the orangutan, they might run out. I hope you've enjoyed this little flip through. I will leave a link down below if I can find them. Um, so you can go and buy it. I'm not an Amazon affiliate or anything like that. They're just there for your convenience. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Night, guys.